Hey there everyone, Trenty here and welcome back to more serious and the first encounter. Pause the video if you want to read. Let's get going. So here we have the dunes. So this stage will kind of really start to show off what this game's all about. Uh well the second one, like all this is pretty much all the second game's about. It's just giant open areas of just everyone's utter destruction. Now, hey, nice team kill. Uh, excuse me if I don't really talk much. This stuff kind of requires a decent bit of concentration. One, two, three, four, five, and rinse and repeat. All right. Now we have a little bit of room to breathe. Huh? I spoke too soon, apparently. Using the time gun is because it doesn't eat through ammo as fast. Now I swear we'll have a moment just to kind of think in a minute here. Maybe it's, I should have moved out of the third person. This is why uh, uh, you'll probably be seeing a lot more third person from this point on. Because we'll be in situations like this a lot. But okay. Finally, a moment to breathe. So in the HD version, this has seven secrets. Six in the uh, SD version. So, right away, we'll find a secret over to the right. Kind of a weird one to get to because the way this hill acts. Like, there's just some spots where you'll kind of slow to a crawl. <clears throat> like, right there. But we'll get there. Now, you can see there's trees on the distance. That is also an another secret. But not the one we're going for right now. In fact, it's right here we're looking for. Just be careful, though, because once you pick this up, you will spawn some enemies. So, 50 health and some ammo. Get ready for some clears. And, uh, what else comes at you? Just clears? You know, forgive me, I played, I haven't played this game for about a week. And I kind of forgot what happens. Now, right here, there's an oasis. Now, be really fast, because the, the longer you stay out here, you'll start taking heat damage. Which, that's never fun. So we're basically just gonna get this and get the hell out of here. And hope to God that the harpies that will spawn will be at least a little nice. Yeah, there are a lot of harpies now. So I'm just going to try my best to uh, dodge their barrage of attacks as I get out of the danger zone. And sadly there's no highways to this danger zone, it's just a bunch of sand. How sad. Alright, we should be good now. And uh, go figure the harpies don't give two fucks about heat. Get out of here, clear. I just had to get out of here. And you come and attack. Very bad at listening. So now that we have just a shit ton of harpies all the way the fuck over there, I'm gonna get off the ground. I'm just going to try to peg him with some grenades, just for the sole purpose of making myself feel a bit better. I'm actually kind of surprised I have not been hit by that many of their attacks. And I guess at this point I really haven't been hit by any of them. This is back in... I'm still at 200-200, so yep, I have not been hit by any of them at all. So I'm kind of badass, yeah, we can say that. I'm pretty serious right now. I mean, I am serious, Sam. I mean, he shares my—he shares the same last name as me. Oh damn! Now we got—we we done goofed. Where is it, all of them? Well, see how we're over here. Let's go ahead and um. Well, I was gonna say let's go get this secret, but apparently the trap came early. <laughs> now I'm just gonna grab this this health anyways, because if there are more enemies, we can spawn. Might as well spawn them. Anyway, so I know I talked about this in the beginning about not being able to reload your guns. Apparently, I just had the key unbinded, 
so there you go. Okay. More bullets is always a good time. Um, let's see. That's to the left. Uh, what about the one where it's just not a secret at all? Like I said, I have nothing to well, Let's see, how many secrets do I have? Do I just have two? Okay, yeah, two. So that doesn't count as a secret at all, but it's something. So, now that's out of the way, we could just go ahead and get right on with the main part, the main ambush. But we have, uh, I think, two or three more secrets that we can get out here. I think three, because that would leave us five and then the two secrets inside. So, you know how there is an item over there? Well, once again, we are dealing with symmetrical secrets. So, if we go over here, we will find ourselves more of the same. This time, slightly less health, but we'll spawn ammo and we'll spawn enemies. And by ammo, I just, of course, mean enough rockets to probably feed your your entire little Africa for maybe a, maybe a year. You know, I'm talking about your own personal Africa, by the way. Not like slaves or anything, just you literally own an Africa. You can fill it whatever you want, like a bunch of tigers, lions. But now that that's over, we can just revel on the fact that we've done nothing. And maybe look at some bones. But now we need to go over here, to the other side, where there actually be two secrets. So let's see, you see that tree right there? We're not going to be very environmentally friendly here today on this episode. We're going to uh, attempt to blow up this tree. but. Grenades bounce off of things. And the second you attack the tree, items will spawn and enemies will spawn. Because you better be very friendly to the environment, such as the trees, if you're in a desert. Because you don't get those very often, and you shouldn't ruin those for everyone who wants them, but fuck them. A tree can suck a dick. Alright, so... After uh, restarting this level to try to figure out if that that secret with the little health pill was my issue, turns out it was not. Um, for the Oasis secret, you have to stand in a very specific spot in order for that to activate, which apparently I did not do, but I thought I did and was too like, holy shit, we gotta get away from these harpies. So that's what happened. And also, I lost a shit ton of health because, for some reason, the heat damage just started fucking doing a toll on me for no reason. I wasn't even out there for that long. But regardless, let's hurry on and get this over with. Well, this game's giving us a shit ton of rockets. Let's use them, huh? Oh god. Hi, Clears. How you doing? The most non-used enemy. It's good to see you guys getting some time in the spotlight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Nothing too bad. Something just spawned behind me. There's something. More Clears. It's great to see such an underused enemy get the time and the spotlight that it deserves. Okay. First wave, we good. We need some rockets, but it's not like there's a shortage of rockets around. There we go. And now we're getting bullets. Which is something I can dig. Because bullets are like my favorite sort of ammo. Alright, let's just get the one rocket. Tommy gun out. Kill some kamikazes. Now I'm assuming this is where like having surround sound would be the biggest blessing in your life. If this game's even made with like surround sound in mind. Because then you could just pinpoint exactly where these mofuckers coming from. Die. Okay, maybe going up this hill was a terrible idea because I'm now getting just creamed with these guys. Although, honestly, I'm not taking that much damage, it looks like. Okay. 
Once again, sorry that I'm not really talking. I'm just trying to concentrate, make sure I kill all these goons. More dirt launch for you and your goons, etc. Alright, that's done with. Let's grab this bag of ammo and... Well, I mean, what do you really expect? And this is what you're buying a serious sand game for. Don't lie to yourself. I'm just dodging so many things right now. And then not dodging a lot of others. Okay, you... Uh, I maybe should have saw that one coming. I don't have time for another one of you. Okay, well, now that, uh... I've wasted, like, half of my fucking... Like, reserve of bullets. Let's just go ahead and... I love the, the, the fact that there are no enemies about. It's just us again. Okay. We can travel in first person for a bit longer. Because now, as you can see, the door's open and there's a new gun waiting for us inside. Now, there are two more secrets in the level, and once again, symmetrical. Symmetry is beautiful. I remember doing, like, symmetrical art when I was in elementary school. I always thought that stuff was so cool. So, we have a laser gun, and that's the stuff that will, uh, spawn our ambush. So go ahead and make a quick save, as I do before most rocket jumps. So now we have secret ammo depot. And over here we have a bit of a different one. So it's like that. But uh, this this particular thing is not as sturdy. So once again, we'll make a quick save. Now I'm just waiting for... Because it's supposed to crumble. Like that. And just watch out, because you will then be greeted with two very angry major biomechanoids. And we're good. Oh, we're all almost out of armor though, but I do believe, yep, there's a blue armor right there. So now let's go ahead and bust out our new fancy toy, and uh, we have to give it quite a good whirl right here. So you see it cuts clears apart quite nicely. It also cuts the uh, biomechanoids down quite well if I wasn't getting blocked by a bunch of fucking clears and getting creamed by rockets, apparently. Although, honestly, I'm waiting for a certain enemy before I can really show you what the laser gun's good at. And plus, I still kind of prefer the minigun for the clears. I mean, I guess it's because the laser gun's a higher caliber of ammo. And therefore, it's, you know, why should I save it for the higher tier enemies? Just like it is with any FPS, really. Like, that's why in Doom, I love having BFG in my own arch files, or Revenants, or Mankey Because it cuts those guys down real quick. So, like how rockets cut these fools down really fast. Real quick, let me just make sure I. It says I have all the secrets. Alright, cool. So, now that, uh,. Now that we've got that confirmation. Now we have some NARS. Laser gun's really good at NARS. But it's really good for these green guys. Uh, both for them and their projectiles. I mean, the accuracy's great. I mean, that's a laser weapon after all. And I should probably take out the one that's right beside me. So basically, at the end of the stage, it's going to be a gauntlet of these guys. And I wish I had, like, a multi-directional weapon so I could just take out these projectiles when they were behind me. Goddamn. The stage really loves these guys. But let's just switch to our minigun, preserve a little ammo we have for the next stage. Uh, the next stage is pretty difficult. Uh, I'm sneezing. Thankfully, I can cut that. <laughs> Can you get to stop floating around? Alright, and you are the second to last one. If of this group anyways. One's probably more spawned because it's serious Sam. Alright, look at that. We are done with this stage. 
So Sam walk in there, dual wielding his guns like a cool dude he is. And we can rest happily knowing that it only took me almost two minutes extra because of that damn secret not registering. But hey, we got all of the kills, which is awesome. So, until next time, I'm Trentia, and you guys have a great day.